Some area homeless kids and foster children now have a new place to call home. Anna Marcos takes us to the ribbon cutting for the Los Angeles Youth Network's new facility. This house will soon be home sweet home to young people who may never have had a real home. About 300 homeless and foster youth each year from ages 12 to 18 will get to stay here, some for a month or less, some longer. They were removed from their homes because of some form of abuse, whether it be sexual, physical, mental, or emotional, or they were forced out of their house because of their sexual orientation. The Los Angeles Youth Network held a ribbon cutting to celebrate the newly renovated house, which will replace its current building, an army barrack-style dormitory. Here, the kids will get private rooms, two or three to a room, Tutoring, academic counseling, mental health and art therapy, and job development will be among the perks, along with lots of TLC. As they are restoring this lovely, graceful old home, they're also restoring lives. The Los Angeles Youth Network is the only group that offers residential care to homeless young people in Hollywood. L.A. has about 10,000 homeless youth, most of them on Hollywood streets. Every person matters, that every life is valuable. It's a place where those with few chances can succeed. Some of the youth have gone on to USC and UCLA on scholarships. Some, like Javon Wilkes, are now giving back and dedicating their lives to working with youth. No matter if they were homeless, if they were abused, if they had drugs in their system and been in the foster care their whole life, like myself, they can succeed. Right now, some more furniture and paint are needed, but come early October, the young people will be moving in to call this place home. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. The Mental Health Center at the new home will be named after LA County Supervisor Zev Yaroslavsky for all his work helping homeless youth over the years. He will be retiring from his supervisor post in a few months.